this thing's gonna work up. And I honestly 100% expect work up. Like, if he even plus threes, we're fucked. We're screwed. So, how much does Flame Charge do? Fuck me. Alright. Well, that's not good. I need a crit. guys welcome back to the pokemon blaze black 2 nuzlocke in the last episode we made our way through flocksy ranch we took on our rival schmoman for the first time or well second time and we encountered team plasma for the first time so in today's episode we are going to be taking on the Aspiria city gym leader charon but before we do that we're going to do a quick little team recap i actually decided to grind up everybody because i had the xp share and i'm actually not too mad that i did it so Starting off, we have our starter Hawk the Tepig, level 14, Naive Nature with the Blaze ability, Rock and Tackle, Ember, Tail Whip, and Odor Sleuth. Then we have Pepper the Centrit, level 13, Serious Nature with the Runaway ability, Rock and Dizzy Punch, Quick Attack, Foresight, and Defense Curl. Next up, we have Spam the Lily Pup, level 13, Quirky Nature with the Vital Spirit ability, Rock and Tackle, Bite, Odor Sleuth, and Leer. And last but not least, we have Timon the Patrat, level 13, Modest Nature with the Analytic ability, Rock and Tackle, Bite, Sand Attack, and Detect. So, I'm actually kind of. This is gonna sound. This is gonna sound weird coming for me. I'm actually glad that I leveled up Timon because now I have Sand Attack and I have Detect. That is really, really good for me because uh, Charon's team actually scares me. Um, his team is a Mancino, a Lillipup, and his Ace is a Munchlax. I don't know what levels they are, but I do remember. I do know that is what uh, his team is. His Munchlax is going to wreck my shit. His Munchlax has work up. All of his Pokemon have work up because that's the TM he gives us. And I don't know if you guys have ever fought like a Snorlax. Snorlax hits hard. Now imagine it's pre-evolution this early on in the game. It's going to eat my hits. It's going to hit me hard. I'm going to die. I don't know what to do or what to say. But that's all we got. And I'm really kind of banking on one thing right now. Um, when Hawk gets to level 6, not 16, 15, he learns, uh, Flame Charge. Hawk's special defense, or special attack sucks, so Tackle's doing way more damage than Ember is, even with the stab. So, right now, I'm really just banking on learning, uh, what, learning that move, learning Flame Charge, and then going to town. So, yeah, pretty much, that's pretty much all we got. And I don't know how it's going to go, but it probably won't go too well. That is bad. That is bad. He's going to uproar me, and he just fake tiered. That's terrifying. That could have been terrifying. All right. Well, I'm definitely not getting the amount of EXP that I wanted. But you know what? It's fine. What's the worst that could happen? I'm already down one Orenberry. That's fantastic. All right, Hawk. Are you going to level up? No, you're not. You're not even close. All right, that's fine. Okay, yeah. So yeah, that's that's pretty much my plan for this uh, for this battle. Uh, I genuinely think that's my only way of ensuring we don't die or lose any mons because I really don't want to lose any mons right now. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, if I can keep Timon alive to be a death fodder, then I will keep Timon alive to be a death fodder. Uh, his honestly, um, his use will probably end after the second gym if it survives that long. By the second gym, he'll be a, most likely a Watchhog, so he'll, his usefulness will probably last a little past that, probably at least like 10 levels past that. I'm going to get two more to, uh, potions just because I need as many as I can for this situation. But yeah, I think after Berg, definitely Timon will be off the team. Um, he's probably going to be off the team as soon as we have a team of six and, and literally any other Pokemon in the box. Uh, but honestly, Spam and Pepper, only probably only one of these three will stay on the team once we get a few more Pokemon. Because, did I already fight you? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, good. Because I still need a level up. And I think this Pidov might give it to me. Nope, maybe not. Maybe your next Pokemon will give it to me. But one of them will. I definitely think one of your first... Okay, there we go. Thank you, Pidov. You are useful to me for once. 
That is probably the most use I will ever get out of a Padov in my life. Other than a potential death fodder. But that's besides the point. Alright. Um, speaking of, which one of you guys has the best defense? 15, 17, and 15. Okay, so that's actually not fantastic. Really not fantastic at all. Why are you so slow, Pepper? What's going on with you? Alright. Uh, Timon having analytics is actually kind of nice when he's being outsped. But in this situation, I'm actually outspeeding everything. But again, one of the one of the other things that makes did you just metronome me? Did you wiggle your finger at me and then sweet kiss me? I'm pretty sure you already have sweet kiss, so that's useless. But fine, and of course, all right. But oh my god, all right, bulk up. That's fine. But as I was saying, one of the things that make that makes normal types so scary this early on into the game is the fact that most of them have moves that are probably like 35 to 40 base power or more. On top of that, they get stabbed from them. So they just do a lot of damage really early on in the game. Like the fact that you can have a Rotata at level 13 with Hyper Fang, that's already stab. It's already a move with a high crit ratio. It's one-shotting basically anything that's not on par with it uh, in terms of levels. Or And at the very least, it's two-shotting just about everything. A crit will probably kill everything. And yeah, so... That's a really scary thing to have. Uh, luckily for us, we don't have any Hyper Fang Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Patrat doesn't learn Hyper Fang early on. And I think Rotata is honestly the only Pokemon that learns it that early. I know I know for a fact Patrat does get um, Hyper Fang and Super Fang, but obviously I really doubt that it's going to have it like this early, I guess, is, if that makes sense. Like, it's not, it doesn't learn it that early, is the thing. And, yeah, I'm rambling. I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm just really scared for this battle. I'm, like, genuinely, like, I genuinely don't know how likely we are to get out of this battle uh, without possibly needing to risk the death of somebody. And that's never a good thing. So, I'm just going to go straight for the flame charge. You're working up right away. It's definitely not what I like to see. But... I think with one speed boost, I'll outspeed you. So let's hope this can two shot. Two shots, perfect. That's exactly what I needed. All right. Now, my plan right now is his his Lily Pup is the least threatening of all of his Pokemon. So I'm gonna try. Keyword being try. I'm gonna try to get him to use his potion on the Lily Pup. So that means I'm gonna go into Pepper. And I'm gonna probably, I'm gonna try to knock it down to red and pray that he'll use his potion. Cause if I don't, if I don't get rid of that potion, the Munchlax is gonna be even harder to kill. Because honestly, I don't even think, I don't even think a flame charge will, um, will do over half. I don't even think it'll get close. I honestly expect even flame charge to be a four hit. And that's not good. So we're going to have to be careful. All right. This should be potion territory. All right. Fantastic. There was no way he wasn't going to potion. Because, like, honestly, the, the AI isn't smart enough to think of uh, saving its potion. So that was like a plus two workup, actually. I was, like, scared for a second. I was like, oh, my God, I'm fucked. If, if, if a Lily Pup was doing that much damage, dude, I'd be fucked. But... All right, we're already on his last Pokemon, so we're doing fine. We're doing fine. The problem is the risk that comes with everything that's happening right now. Because honestly, this thing's gonna work up. And I honestly 100% expect work up. Like if he even plus threes, we're fucked. We're screwed. So how much does Flame Charge do? Fuck me, all right, well that's not good. I need a crit. I definitely am gonna need a crit. Does this thing have a berry? I think this thing's either going to have an Orin or Citrus Berry. Which isn't good. It's probably going to Stockpile this turn. I know it has Stockpile. I know for a fact it has Stockpile. I actually remember it using Stockpile on me in the past. That's going to activate the Berry. Okay. Well, fantastic. Metronome. What? Entertainment. What does that do? That does nothing. It turns my... 
I'm not mad about that. Oh, I'm a little mad about that. But two flame charges didn't even lower its... Oh, no, wait, never mind. That was too Arnberry. Okay. This is good. Stockpile. Okay. So this isn't going to kill, but it doesn't have a potion. So literally all I have to do is survive an attack and then kill it next turn. We're fine. We're fine. That... That's that metronome. I was not expecting metronome. Why do you have metronome? How much does tackle do? Oh my god. Okay. Voila. There we go. Just like that, we survive. I was worried for nothing. Are we surprised by that? I'm pretty sure I constantly worry about battles that I just end up doing perfectly fine in. Granted, I'm two levels ahead of it. But I I I genuinely don't remember the level curve. In this game in this game at all at all but i guess to be fair i should have probably expected it to be lower than 14 i was honestly expecting him to be level 14 because i think i think the striton gym leaders are level 14 in this hack or in uh in blaze black so i was just kind of expecting that but i guess i'm wrong so you know that's fine in other news I'm um, just chillaxing over here is Roxanne. We're not going to fight her. Uh, you can fight the Hoenn gym leaders in this game, and I have every intention of doing that. I just have no intention of doing it for Roxanne, because I don't know if you guys have looked at the layout or anything, but I quite literally have probably the worst Pokemon you could possibly have in a battle such as that. So, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do it. But um, we will have a fight against Brawly, in Verbank City, because you can fight, you can fight, fight Brawly uh, just before you fight Roxy. So I think all the gym leaders show up in gyms with, um, with like they all show up in cities with gyms. So I think you could just fight them in order, essentially. So I don't know. I think we'll be. I think we'll do that just for extra fun. I'm not turning on the sea gear. I turned it on on accident. Well, that's fine, actually. I do kind of like the glowing lights. And it doesn't really do anything, because obviously we don't have actual Wi-Fi, so it doesn't matter. But it does look nice. I actually kind of like the... Dude, what the fuck? Like, why do the girls get a cool-looking one? I like the pink a lot better than I like the boring-ass blue for the dudes. Um, I just realized I have my bike. I should do that. All right, I'm going to ride this. So it's actually a lot smarter. Um, Let's try to level up our team a little. Um, let's go with spam. Just spam a little love. I'm actually, on top of that, I just got return. So that's like the best thing I could possibly have for all of my normal types. So, 50. Dude, I was getting hit by base 75 tackles in that battle. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm gonna get rid of Odor Sleuth, because you don't need Odor Sleuth. You have Bite. But, I am gonna get rid of... Wicked? Could... Mm, I'll get rid of Foresight. Yeah. That, well, that's more, Foresight's more useful for you. Dizzy Punch does a lot of damage. And I kind of like, I need a Quick Attack right now. Honestly, I think Dizzy Punch is fine on you. But, I don't know, you guys probably aren't that high up in terms of actual affection towards me. So, I am going to teach you work up over, mm. I mean, what's better, raising my attack or lowering a Pokemon's defense? I'll, I'll keep Leer for now. Once once I'm sure that uh, Return's going to be doing more than Tackle, then I'll get rid of Tackle. But for now, I'm not going to risk that, just because if I can do more damage with, with Tackle compared to Return, then I'm going to use that. I honestly don't know the... I don't know the equation to figure out um all that and obviously i don't know what their friendship is i do have a i have a soothe bell so that could be useful but for now i want to keep the orange berries on them once i run out of orange berries we'll be fine once we run out of orange berries i'll give uh the soothe bell to one of them but until then would you like to hear me my explanation again no i really don't i don't even know what you said but i'm gonna assume it's something i already knew uh but yeah all right Oh no, I have to fight this guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. And I run into him. 
I could have had a Ralts in this in this grass, and instead I got Timon. No offense to Timon, because Timon can actually be of some use to us with the level he is right now, but like I could have had a I absolutely would much rather have a Ralts than a than Timon. Oh, I don't want to fight you because you're gonna have a rock type, aren't you? He's about to throw out a rock type. That's a rock and roller. Oh my god. I know rock and rollers cry like from a mile away, boys, because it's so weird. And I've also used a rock. I've used rock and roller probably more than just about any other uh, Pokemon in this generation. So go for a bite. You bastard. Okay. You know what? I need you out of my face. I need you out of my face. Okay. Let's just let's just get out of here. Let's get out of this battle. The flinches are helping me out. Actually, that's really good. Why do you have three Pokemon, sir? Are you gonna have a potion? Like, if, if this random nobody had a potion, I would have been so pissed off. But, what are your other, like, three Mons you have? Oh my god, he has a Riolu. And it's raining. So, this Riolu has counter. I already know it. And that scares me, because... Is it raining? It is raining, yep. Okay, I'm gonna Tail Whip this thing. Endure. Alright, well that's fine, buddy. If you don't have counter, then, like, I'll just flame charge you to death. But I'm going to lower your defenses to ensure that I flame charge you to death. Faint? What the fuck? Faint is the weirdest and, like, dumbest. Like, I get it, but, like, it's such a dumb move. Who's going to go for... Who's going to go for faint assuming that a Pokemon is going to use protect? I just don't. I don't, like, see the... I don't know. I don't see the reasoning for it. I want to see what your last move is before I do anything drastic. Because I've seen you use Endure, Faint, and Quick Attack, and I know for a fact that Rayolus get countered really early in, uh, on. Or at least I think they do. I could be wrong, though. But I feel like a Tackle, even a Tackle could probably kill you. But before I make that risky play, I'm going to heal you up. I'm going to heal up Hawk just in case. I might, we're about to get an Evolution, too, on top of that. Hello. Quick Attack. All right. Well, you're dead. Goodbye, buddy. Bye, Riolu. I'm so, I, we barely knew ye, but you were alive a lot longer than you needed to be. All right. Whooper. What the fuck? And it's raining. That's even worse. That's actually really bad. We're about to lose, like, all three of my, my normal type Pokemon just to kill this one Whooper. Oh, it's Mudsporting. All right, you're a fool. Okay, let's compare Tackle and Return right now. Okay, so Return is stronger. Good to know. Good to know. Now we know the big brain. All right, thanks for that battle, sir. Oh, I'm a liar. I'm wrong. So this is a, this is one of those things. It's kind of dumb, but the uh, Unova starters don't evolve until level f uh, 17. Is logic, right? Because you know why not? So yeah, they don't evolve just yet. Um, Nicole, wait, who is this? Please don't be human. <sighs> I said Q man. <laughs> His name's Schmo man. I already know that. Oh, I'm gonna be... Okay, you see the dark grass here? It's rare, but sometimes two Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. Thanks for that. Oh. Oh! Hey! You're useful to me. I didn't even know that. Well, now I can get a water type. That's actually really good. All right. Well, that's great, Hugh. Uh, or Joe. Schmo Man. I don't know why you named you Schmo Man. I should have named you Joe. That would have been a lot smarter on my end, but here we are. All right, well... You know what? I'm gonna try to get to Verbank before we end this episode. But I'm going to do a little bit of battling before, and uh, I don't know how many of these trainers I can avoid. Well, I can avoid you. Let me, turn, let me get off my bike, actually, before I do that. Okay, child, turn around. Ah, you bastard. Okay. These children, dude. <laughs> they have no respect. I swear to God. And she's got an inner and a female. Oh, that's cute. They're matching. That's adorable. Now, Spam, you're not going to... I don't think you level up anytime soon. I think you... I think you... Or, well, not level up. Evolve. I don't think you evolve until level 18. I don't think any of my Pokemon that I have right now are going to evolve anytime soon. I'm not going to learn Takedown because honestly, I'm better off with Return. And that's the smart play. So thank you for giving me the $50 that you... It's probably your allowance, to be perfectly honest. I just kind of robbed that child. Oh no, don't tell me I'm forced to fight you. Let's get this item over here. What's this? A Dire Hit. Well, that's not useful at all. Am I going to be forced into a double battle right now? This is really not what I want to see. All right. I'm going to be forced to go into Hawk because honestly, 
uh, what are you gonna have? Illamise and Volbeat? You're probably gonna have something like Nidoran and Nidorina and, or Nidoran and Nidor I don't know what I'm saying anymore. A, a, Vene a Venipede and a Swaddle actually works out. That's fine. We're gonna kill the Venipede first because the Venipede's definitely the biggest threat. Spam, return, and even in the rain, Flame Charge is gonna kick your ass. All right. Well, that was honestly a lot, uh, a lot less scary than I thought it was gonna be. So you know what? Let's just <laughs> end this off because I was really sad. These poor children. Look, that did nothing, and that was quad effective. That's quad effective, but the rain fucked me up. All right. Well, thanks for that, children. Please tell me there's no more die. Oh, I have to talk to Roxy and watch her complain. Ah. <sighs> oh, great. What are you talking? Terrace balls. Oh, hey. Dude, we're literally never going to have to buy Pokeballs in this game. Because we get so many gift-like balls. Hi, Mom. I forgot you were, um... Ex you existed, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, no. Not this. Alright. Let me sit here and listen to you. Alright, Roxy. Thanks for complaining. This is, like, honestly, like, me too, though. Like, me, me too. I agree. Um, now... I don't know what I want to do here, because I feel like all I have that I can do is uh, take on the gym. I don't know what you can do in this place, but I guess either way, maybe we can get some encounters, because I think this is where it is, right? It is. All right. So uh, in in uh, Blaze Black and Volt Y2... You can actually get starters in this game uh, from these jesters that are around. But the Pokemon you get, the starter you get, depends on what season it is when you play. So we're in spring, which I believe means that we get Squirtle from this guy, which I'm fine with. Yep. If it's summer, you get Cyndaquil. If it's autumn, you get Trico. And if it's winter, you get Piplup. So do you want to get a special Pokemon? Yes. All right. Well, that's fine. A Squirtle is honestly fantastic no matter what happens. So, since this thing is a male, we're going to have to name it Clint, because why wouldn't we? And uh, that's actually good, because now we have a Pokemon that's not a normal type. That's all I could have asked for. But, uh, the others you can all find in the Hidden Grotto, so it's fine. Um, I think what we're going to do... Let's check out your stats. What level are you? Level 10. What are you holding? A berry juice. Fantastic. Lax nature? That's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Considering that we're about to get our shit wrecked by Roxy. That's actually fantastic. So, what I think we're going to do is we're going to call an episode here, you guys. And in the next episode, we will figure out what we can do in Verbank. We're going to do a bit of encounter getting. Going to get a few encounters. Um, if all we can do is take on the gym, then we'll probably have a cut where I can do like cut in the episode where I can do some grinding before we take on Brawly and then try and save Roxanne for episode four. Not a hundred percent sure, but hopefully uh, with my plans uh, for this, for us to go back to five videos a week, Monday through Friday, hopefully that means that these next, this next episode is going to be going up on Tuesday and this episode should be up on Monday. So with that, let's hope and pray that this schedule can stick for a bit. Um, I have the next like three days off in a row. So, or well, I have today off, which is Sunday. I have tomorrow and uh, Tuesday off. And then I don't go in until three on Wednesday. So I'll have a bit of time to do some bulk recording and whatnot. I'm going to try to bulk record more tomorrow night. Um, but tonight I'm just recording the one episode because I've been doing a lot today and I'm tired and dying. So with that, we're going to call an episode here, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you guys enjoyed Make sure you do smash that like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and get deposited right into that PC party. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at PCButtMaster. Join the Discord. Link is down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I am PCButtMaster. And I'll see you guys next time.